today, I'll be talking about what making choices. Praise the name of the Lord. Making choices. Because as, it, as I said, as a child of God, we have one, we have the Holy Spirit who is able to what? Guide us in the way of that is right. Praise the name of the Lord. As a child of God, we are not supposed to be making wrong decisions, wrong choices. Hallelujah. God expects us to what? Make the right choices. Because we have in us the Holy Spirit who is able to guide us in the right way. In the right way. So we are not supposed to be making wrong choices. Praise the name of the Lord. But one thing about choice, you know, it, it's, it's, it's up to us to decide to want what? Make the right choice. Make the right choice. Praise the name of the Lord. I give you some examples about choices. Now, when there was Abraham and Lot, Abraham and Lot, they were given, you know, it came to a time that both of them, you know, were together in the in, uh, uh, in a particular land. And what did uh, 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 Abraham say to Lot? Abraham said to Lot, choose ye, because there was a bit of a problem, because they couldn't stay together, because their herdsmen were having issues with one another. So there was time, it was time for them to pass. And Abraham called Lot. And Abraham said to Lot, choose where you want. Choose anywhere in the land that you want. Anywhere in the land that you want, and you go there, and I will go my own way. Praise the name of the Lord. And Lot, with his eyes of greed and everything, he looked and he saw the best of lands. The best of lands. In his own, in his own eyes, it was the best of lands. But that was the desire of the flesh. Praise the name of the Lord. And, the, and you know, the Bible says that he chose the best of lands. And he took the best of lands. But when God was to speak to Abraham to say, because Abraham never made a choice. He left his choice to what? To God. And God spoke concerning his choice. What did God say? He says, look up every land that you see. Every land. Including the land of what? Of Lot. And he gave it to him. Praise the name of the Lord. When we depend on God for our choices, we make what's the right choices. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise the name of the Lord. Sometimes we are faced with what choices that we find difficult to decide upon. But what happens when you come into that kind of situation? You think about who do you serve? Who, do, who are you serving? Who is your God? Praise the name of the Lord. And an example is when, like when Joseph was, I mean, was, um, uh, 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 was en uh, encountered with the, had an encounter with the wife of Potiphar. The wife of Potiphar was drawing him to lay with her. But why was Joseph able to make that right choice? Because he recognized what whom he served. He said, how can I do this against my God? How can I do this against my God? He recognized whom he served. He recognized what he had to do in that difficult situation. And thus make the right choice. Praise the name of the Lord. And he fled away from the woman. Praise the name of the Lord. And so what I'm, I'm, I'm talking about today, as I said, is choices. We all woke up this morning and made thousands, we made thousands of choices. Before we are here today. Thousands of choices. We woke up, we said, what am I going to eat today? That's a choice. Praise the name of the Lord. We woke up, we said, what am I going to wear to church today? It's a choice. Praise the name of the Lord. We got into, into this place. We made a choice of where we want to sit. Hallelujah. Praise the name of the Lord. It's a choice that we are here today. Even just to worship God. Because we could have said, I'm being, I, I want to be at home. Hallelujah. And I want to just worship God at home. But it's a choice that we have made. So we made thousands and thousands of choices. Hallelujah. Praise the name of the Lord. When it comes to choosing our, our, our partners, it, it's a choice. When it comes to choosing our career, it's a choice. When it comes to choosing what we want to do with our life, it's a choice. So we are faced with choices each and every day of our lives. Every time of our life. We can't escape choices. But the real crux of the matter is what choice are you making? Are you making the right choice? Or are you what? Uh, making the wrong choice. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. You know, sometimes you go into a restaurant and what you, I, you are faced with what? A whole menu. 
what sometimes you don't even know. You are coming to say, um, today is going to be stay. And you get there, you say, ah, maybe I'll go for the sermon today. It's a choice. It's a choice. Praise the name of the Lord. You are faced with it daily, everywhere you go. Praise the name of the Lord. But how did we arrive at this point of having to make a choice? How did we arrive at this point that each and every human being has to make a choice? How did we arrive at this point? And that's the, what we call the free will that God has given us. The free will that God has given us. The Bible says that he created man, uh, he created Eve, uh, Adam and Eve, put them in the garden, and he says, this is what I want you to do. You can do anything you like. Anything you like. He says you can do what this tree, the fruit of this tree, don't touch. Praise the name of the Lord. And it was up to Adam and up to Eve to decide whether to touch that tree or not to touch that tree. Praise the name of the Lord. And that's the free will that we still have up to today. He never changed. God never changed that free will that he gave to them. Even though they sinned. That free will was always there. Praise the name of the Lord. But in the heart of what Adam and Eve that he created, there was no wrong. They never knew anything that was wrong. So any decision that what they would have made anyway would have been always right. What is what we call Satan, the one who is what always attacking what God has done, came and deceived them. And up till today, Satan is still also what deceiving people into making them make the wrong choice. Praise the name of the Lord. Tell somebody I will never make the wrong choice. Hallelujah. So we have arrived at this point over of what of making choices because of free will. God has put us here on earth. Whatever you like to do, choose. He will place everything before us, but. He says, choose me. He says to, to us, he says, I give to you what life or what's death. It's up to you to what choose. So everything is up to us to choose. And when we are choosing as children of God, God expects us what to choose the right, to make the right decision or to make the right choice. Why? Why, has it, why is it that God is expecting us to make the right choice at every time? What God has done for who? The people that serve him for what God has done for the children of God is that as soon as you give your life to Christ, he imputes into you the Holy Spirit. He imputes into you what? The Holy Spirit. Because before you, you are what? Made up of what? What is called the flesh? The body. And that's the body, soul, and what? The spirit. The body, the soul, and the spirit. Praise the name of the Lord. You are made up of those three things. The body is your flesh. Your flesh that you see. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Your spirit man is what makes you alive. Your spirit man is your spirit man. Praise the name of the Lord. That's why you can talk, you can walk, you can speak. That's your spirit man. Praise the name of the Lord. But he puts into us what, what is called a soul. Where we make up our minds, the mind of man. The mind of man. Praise the name of the Lord. He puts into what, what? The soul, which is the mind. Where we make up all decisions. Where we take all our decisions. It comes from what? The mind. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. And what God expects every child of God to do. Because he has imputed into us his own Holy Spirit. So the Spirit of God is in us. And from what we have read there today, he says he guides the humble world in the right way. So we have in us, each and every child of God has in, we have in us the spirit to guide us in the right way. So why are we making the wrong decisions? The only thing it can be is that we are not yielding towards the Holy Spirit. The only reason that it is, is that we are not what? Yielding towards the voice of the Spirit. The voice of the Spirit will guide us what? In the right way at all times. If we take time to listen to the Holy Spirit. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. 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 Hallel
praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Let's look at Galatians chapter 5. Galatians chapter 5 and verse 16 to 18. Galatians chapter 5, 16 to 18. Galatians chapter 5 and verse, it says, I say then, walk in the spirit and you shall not fulfill what? The lust of the flesh. The lust of the flesh is what actually makes us what? Make the wrong choices. The lust of the flesh. Because the flesh wants to what? Satisfied at all times. Praise the name of the Lord. And that's why Paul says what? The spirit and the flesh, they are always at war. Praise the name of the Lord. And if we come to that point whereby we yield to the lust of the flesh, we can only but make wrong choices. But he says, walk in the spirit and you shall not fulfill what? The lust of the flesh. He says, for the flesh lust against the spirit. Anything that is of the flesh will lust against anything that is of God. Praise the name of the Lord. And he says, and the spirit against the flesh. And these are contrary to one another. So that you do not do the things that you wish. Verse 18. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Now he says, but if you are led by the Spirit, you are not what? Under the law. Praise the name of the Lord. If you are led by the Spirit, that means you can do no wrong. You are not going. I mean, if you are doing right all the time, will you have the guards coming to you? No. You won't be accused of anything if you are doing right. So you are not operating under the law. The law is there anyway, but you are always doing good. You are always doing right. You are always making the right choices. Praise the name of the Lord. So you won't be, you won't be hindered by the law. Praise the name of the Lord. But when you make the wrong choices, is when you are hindered by the law. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise the name of the Lord. And why is it that God has imputed into us his Holy Spirit because his will, his will, his own choice for us, God's choice for us is that he wants you what he wants his spirit to make you make the right choices. He wants you to live the right way. That's why he has what put his own Holy Spirit and imputed it into you. He wants you, his own Holy Spirit to guide you what into the truth, into making what the right choices. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. And look at Galatians chapter 5 from 22 to 23. Very popular verse. Praise the name of the Lord. 22 to 23. Let's quickly see. Because when the spirit of God is in you, this is what it produces. He says, for the fruit of the spirit is what? Love, joy, peace, long-suffering, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, self-control. Against such there is no law. You operate above the law because everything you would do would be actually in the right way. You'll be going in the right way, You're making the right decisions, making the right choices. Praise the name of the Lord because that's what the fruit of the Spirit is meant to do in us. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Now let's look at some common mistakes. There are some mistakes that what are common with making choices. When it comes to making choices, there are mistakes that are made, and I want to point them out to you. First of all, the number one mistake, and a lot of people make this mistake, is what? Choosing not to choose. Choosing not to make a choice, in another sense. Choosing not to make a choice. Choosing not to make a choice. Praise the name of the Lord. Choosing not to make a choice. A lot of people have heard about the Lord Jesus Christ. We, yeah, yesterday we were out even ministering everywhere and there were a lot of people that you spoke to. They just said, thank you very much. Thank you very much. Choosing not to choose. Choosing not to choose. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. That's the worst thing that can happen. Praise the name of the Lord. And that happened to David in, in a certain time. If you read um, from Second Samuel, I don't want to go into it, 13, 14, 15. David was a, I mean, had a problem when his son lay with his sister. And at the time, David did nothing about it. He chose not to do anything about it. 
about that situation. He just kept quiet about it. But what was the consequence of that? Number one, that son that lay with his sister was killed by another son of David. Was, he was killed. Praise the name of the Lord. And that son that killed the, uh, Liz, uh, the brother that lived with the sister now came to turn against David. Turn against David. That David had to flee the town. Absalom had to turn against David because David chose to do nothing. He chose not to make a choice. And that's the worst that can happen. When situations come, you make a choice. Make, and what I am saying is that if you want to make a choice, rely on God and you will make the right choice. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Then number two thing about uh, that common mistakes that are made about making a choice is that when we procrastinate, there's a choice to make. I'll do it tomorrow. I'll do it next week. I'll decide on it next week. No. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise the name of the Lord. Even the Bible tells us when it comes to even ministering to people, it says, knowing the terror that is at hand, it says, we go out what and minister straight away. And we are looking for the people to what? Give their lives straight away. Praise the name of the Lord. It's not about procrastination. When you procrastinate, what is supposed to have been done is left undone. That decision will still be there that you have to make. That, that, that choice that you still have to that you have to make will still be there. Will still be there. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. A very good story is there in Acts chapter 24. If you want to read Acts chapter 24 from verse 22. When Paul was taken to uh, 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 I, I believe it was uh, Felix, one of the um, uh, uh, the, the, the rulers in the town. And he was to make a decision on what to do with Paul. He was to make a decision on what to do with Paul. Paul was arrested because he was what? Ministering to the people. And Felix, who is a righteous man, who knows that Paul is, is, is okay to do, I mean, Paul was okay to do what he was doing, refused to what? Make the right judgment. He says, no, keep Paul. I'll make a decision on it later. Praise the name of the Lord. The right thing that he should have done in the first place is to say, Paul is doing no wrong. Release him from prison. He left Paul in prison. The right thing that I should have been done to give Paul his freedom, to give Paul his freedom in the beginning was left till another time. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. So choosing not to choose. Secondly, what is it? Is choosing to procrastinate. That's the second mistake that a lot of people make when it comes to choices. Don't make, don't postpone your choices. Praise the name of the Lord. Make that choice at the time when it's supposed to be made with the help of the Holy Spirit. Praise the name of the Lord. Not with the help of your flesh, but with the help of the Spirit that God has placed in you, that is there to give you to usher you in the right way. Praise the name of the Lord. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Thirdly, another way people make a lot of mistakes in choices is getting advice from what? Ungodly sources. Ungodly sources. Praise the name of the Lord. Amen. Ungodly sources. When you need counsel, when you need to make a decision, or when you need to make a choice, you go to the ungodly. You go to the unbeliever. What do you expect to get? The wrong answer. Because it will be all of the flesh. Hallelujah. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. First Corinthians chapter 15 and verse 53. And verse 33. First Corinthians chapter 15 and verse 33. Hallelujah. When you choose to what? Listen to the ungodly. He says, do not be what? Deceived. Evil company what? Corrupts good habits. You might have been a person that makes what good decisions, right decisions, but immediately you go what to an unbeliever for what for I mean for a for counsel to make a choice, you get the wrong answer because what evil company corrupts what good habits. Praise the name of the Lord, and it doesn't change. Even some people say, "Show me your friends; I tell you who you are." Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah evil company so when when it comes to making choices 
You go where you go to the, 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 the source whereby you'll be guided in the right way. And the source is what the Holy Spirit that is in you. You pray to the Lord. Help me in this way. I want to make a decision concerning. Lord, show me the way. Lord, show me the way. Hallelujah. Praise the name of the Lord. Amen. Proverbs chapter 15 and verse 22. Proverbs chapter 15 and verse 22. Proverbs chapter 15 and verse 22 it says, Without counsel, plans go awry. Without counsel, without counsel, without counsel, I want to make a decision. It goes the wrong way. Praise the name of the Lord. He says, But in the multitude of counselors, they are what established. Praise the name of the Lord. In the multitude of counsel, in the multitude of counsels, plans are what established. Plans are established in the multitude of counsel. But who is our greatest counselor? It's the Holy Spirit. It's the Holy Spirit. Praise the name of the Lord. And we have the wise old people to praise the name of the Lord that we can lay our ears and listen to what counsel that will take us in the right way. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. And when it comes to choices, we know that even Jesus himself had to be, he faced choices. Praise the name of the Lord. Jesus himself faced choices. And if Jesus faced choices and could make the right choice, that means each one of us, each and every one of us are able to what, face, uh, uh, face choice and make the right choices. Praise the name of the Lord. Because it's his spirit that is in us. Praise the name of the Lord. Remember when it came to that time when he, he felt, oh, this is just a bit too much for him. What was his decision? What was his choice? He says, not my will, but your will, Lord. Praise the name of the Lord. And that's what it has to be. The will of God concerning every matter that we have to make a choice on. What is the will of God? What is the will of God? Praise the name of the Lord. And he chose to what be obedient right up to death. Right up to death. So it's not about being obedient today, making the right choice today. Then tomorrow you say, I, I don't even need to make that. I don't need to consult with the Lord. No, it's a constant thing. You consult with the Holy Spirit constantly. Constantly. Because right up to the end, Jesus was what? He was obedient. Right up to the end. He made that choice that I would be obedient. And he was able to be obedient right up to the end. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. And as we are his disciples, we have that, I mean, that uh, we are in the position to, to what? To make choices. And Jesus gave us a very, very, well, <laughs> let, let's see it in Luke. Let's look at Luke, uh, Luke chapter 9 from verse 23. Luke chapter 9, verse 23. When it comes to following the Lord Jesus Christ, Luke chapter 9 and Verse 23. Luke chapter 19. Then he said to them, Oh, if anyone desires to come after me, let him what? Deny himself and take up his cross daily and follow me. Praise the name of the Lord. What he has laid before us what is a choice. If you want to follow him, he says what? Deny yourself. And when he's saying deny yourself, he's saying what? Put your flesh to what? To death. Allow the spirit of God what? To walk in you. He prays the name of the Lord. He says, he that must follow him, he says, if anyone desires to come up, let him what? Deny himself and take up what? The cross daily and follow me. Because if you allow the flesh to rule in your life, it is not possible to what? make the right decisions. That was what Jesus was telling us there. 24. Let's quickly look at 24. Pray. For whoever desires to save his, his life will lose it. But whoever loses his life for my sake will save it. Praise the name of the Lord. What he's talking about is that we have to lose. Those, 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 cho those choices the flesh want us to, 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 uh, to make. Those choices, the flesh, what we, we have to throw them aside and follow the choices of what those Holy Spirit, 
that is in us. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise the name of the Lord. And why am I just talking about choices today? Because it's very, very important in everything that we do. Let's look at Proverbs 14 and verse 12. Proverbs 14 and verse 12. Proverbs 14 and verse 12. Choices. It says, there is a way that seems what? Right to a man. Hallelujah. And that's for each and every one of us. There's always a way that looks right to a man. Always a way that says, ah, this is the way I should go. But without prayer, we need to pray before we know that whether it's the right. But there's always a way that will always seem right to a man. But its end what is the way of what? Death. Its end is the way of death. If we allow our flesh to continually what rule us, we end up in what destruction. When he says death, death, it doesn't mean dying. It doesn't mean physically dying. It includes, but what? It includes entering into diverse troubles. Diverse troubles. Praise the name of the Lord. Entering into the path of what? Destruction. Praise the name of the Lord. He says there's always a way that looks right to us. But without the counsel of the Holy Spirit, we, want, we end up what? In destruction. Praise the name of the Lord. Yes, we will make mistakes when we work, when we are, um, when we, when, uh, when it comes to making choices, we definitely make mistakes because we are human beings. Praise the name of the Lord. But we have what is called grace. Praise the name of the Lord. And we ask God, what, if we have made a mistake in it, we can what? We can ask God, help me out of this. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise the name of the Lord. But there are some things that we need to take care of, especially when it comes to what choosing a life partner. For those that are not yet married, when it comes to choosing a life partner, you cannot, after you have married, say, Lord, I've made a wrong choice, you know, and I want to, I, 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 I want to change. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. And another thing is that you can, let's say you even end up divorcing. One thing is you can't change the father. Or you can't change the mother. Whichever applies. Praise the name of the Lord. You have made that choice for that person to be the father of your child. Or be the mother of your child. You have made that choice. And that cannot be changed. Hallelujah. Praise the name of the Lord. So there are some things that we need to really, really pray about. When it comes to what? Making choices. Listen to what the voice of the Holy Spirit is saying. It may be painful to us when we hear what the Holy Spirit, but it's better to follow. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise the name of the Lord. Now, how do we make the right choices? How do we come about what? Making the right choice. Praise the name of the Lord. How do we come about making the right choices? There are a few here that we are going to look at. And the first one is, what does the Bible say about your choice? The choice you want to make today, or you want to make next week, the choice that is, come, that is before you now. What does the word of God say about it? Let's look at Psalm 119, 105. Psalm 119, 105. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. What does the Lord, what Lord, uh, the word say about it? It says, your word, what is a lamp to my feet and light to my path. What does it mean? The word of God is a guide to us. In every what decision we want to make, in every choice that we want to make, the word of God, what is a guide to us, is a guide to us. And that's why we must present our choices first to God. Present them to our God. This choice I want to make, Lord, Help me make the right choice. Praise the name of the Lord. And uh, Psalm 37 verse 5 now tells us actually what to do. Psalm 37 verse 5. Let's see what it says. Hallelujah. It says what? It says commit your way to the Lord. Commit everything that you want to do. Commit your decision making, your choice making. He says what? Commit it to the Lord. Trust in him. And he shall bring it what? To pass. 
and he shall bring it to pass. That choice that you want to make, he will give you the answer. He will give you the choice. Praise the name of the Lord. So first thing to do about any choice that you want to make, anything that you, about anything, is what? Commit it what to the Lord. Because it says his word, what? Is a guide to us. A lamp to our feet. Lights to our path. Praise the name of the Lord. Commit everything what that you want to do to, uh, uh, the, the, to the Lord. Psalm 37 um, and uh, 23 to 24. Psalm 37, 23 to 24. Psalm 37 says what? The steps of what? A good man. It also talks about the steps of what? A righteous man. Are ordered what? By the Lord. You decide that any step you want to take, let it be ordered by the Lord. Because it says the steps of what the righteous are ordered by the Lord. He says, and he delights in his ways. Because why would he not delight in your way? Because he, you are making what decisions, you are making choices based on what he has asked you to, to do. He would definitely delight in the way you are taking because you have made that choice based on what his own uh, 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 will. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Secondly, how do we make what I mean? How do we make choices? Is when we make choices that what that glorify God. When it comes to making a choice, you look at it. How, does this glorify God? This choice that I'm about to make does it glorify God? Does it please God? Will it make God? Uh, I mean, happy. Praise the name of the Lord. Make choices that what glorify God. Make choices that glorify God. Let us look at First uh, Corinthians chapter ten. First Corinthians chapter ten and verse thirty-one. First Corinthians chapter ten and verse thirty-one. Therefore. Whether you eat, hallelujah, praise the name of the Lord. He says, therefore, whether you eat, drink, or whatever you do. Whether you eat, drink, or whatever you do. He says, do all what? To the glory of God. Do everything. In making choices, do it what? To the glory of God. Praise the name of the Lord. You think about God first. In every choice that you want to make, you think about God first. What will be God's, you know, uh, uh, what will be, how would this please God? Does this please God? Or does it displease Him? Praise the name of the Lord. Colossians chapter 3, 8 to 10. Colossians chapter 3 and 8 to 10 gives us some tidbits on what to do. He says, But now you yourselves are to put off all these. We are to put up as children of God. He says what? Anger, wrath, malice, blasphemy, filthy language, out of your mouth. Verse 9, do not lie to one another since you have put up what? The old man with all deeds. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. When you put away all those things, let's go back to uh, it again. He says, when anger, wrath, malice, blasphemy, those are the kind of things that make us what? Make the wrong choices. And Paul says we need to what? Put them away. Put away money, blasphemy, filthy language. All those things make us what? Make the right, wrong choices. Do not lie to one another. Praise the name of the Lord. It helps us what? To make the right choices. That will glorify God. That will glorify God. Praise the name of the Lord. When they see you as a person who always makes the right choices, they will want to say, who is your God? Praise the name of the Lord. And that's how you glorify God. When people start to ask, who is your God? When people start to ask, who is your God? You are glorifying God because you are doing the right thing. Praise the name of the Lord. Number three thing, when it comes to making decisions and I'm making choices, is having consideration for others. Having consideration for what? For others. Praise the name of the Lord. When it comes to making choices, the, one of the things is we must what, have consideration for others. It's not about us alone. Praise the name of the Lord. As I said, the word of God is a guide to us. And even Paul says that 
It is not about ourselves alone. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. It's about others. Think about others. Titus chapter 2. Titus chapter 2. Uh, Titus chapter 3 and verse 2. Let's quickly look at that. Titus chapter 3 and verse 2. Ch sorry, Titus chapter 3 and verse 2. Yeah, that's it. He says, to speak evil of no one, to be peaceable, gentle, showing all humility to what? To all men. To all men. Be gentle. Be, uh, 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 be humble. Uh, be gentle and be what? Be peaceable. Praise the name of the Lord. Have consideration for others. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Philippians chapter 2 and verse 4. Philippians chapter 2 and verse 4. Philippians chapter 2 and verse 4. It says, let each of you look out not only for his own, own interest. When it comes to making choices too, it, it must, that must take place. We don't look for our own what? Interest alone, but also for the interest of what? Others. Some people are very good at making choices that will hurt others. That will hurt them. Making decisions and, uh, and choices because they just, just want to hurt someone. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise the name of the Lord. But we must desist from that in Jesus' name. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Another thing that, we, that will help us in making what the uh, uh, right choices is what our choice of words. Our choice of words. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Our choice of words. Hallelujah. Praise the name of the Lord. This, what must proceed from our mouth is what words that will bless. Words that will bless. Praise the name of the Lord. Not words that I say like I said the other time. Not words that will hurt others. Praise the name of the Lord. Not words that will put others down. But words that will bless others. That will encourage others. That will uplift the mind of others. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Let's quickly look at Ephesians chapter 4 and verse 29. Ephesians 4 and 29. Because our words matter. The words we speak matter. Hallelujah. Praise the name of the Lord. They help us what make the right choices. Let us look at Ephesians chapter 4 verse 29. Let no corrupt word proceed out of your mouth. But what is what good for necessary edification that it may impart grace to the hearers. Every word that must proceed from your mouth must be graceful. It must impart what encouragement, upliftment to others. Praise the name of the Lord. It must edify others. Making the right choices. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise the name of the Lord. And then we have that we have to set our mind on God. The Bible says what? Looking unto Jesus, what? The author and finisher of our faith. Praise the name of the Lord. We look unto Jesus for everything. Not outside of Jesus. Not outside of Jesus. When it comes to what? Making choices. Not outside of what? Uh, of Jesus. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Romans chapter 8, 5 and 6. Romans chapter 8, 5 and 6. Romans chapter 8, 5 and 6. Praise the name of the Lord. It says, for those who live according to what? The flesh. Set their minds on things of the flesh. For those who live according to the spirit, the things of what? The spirit. The things of the spirit. When we set our minds on the things of the flesh, you will only, only make the choices that what pertain to the flesh. But when you set your mind on the things of the spirit, your choices will be based on the things that what pertain to the spirit. Praise the name of the Lord. 5 and 6, 6, verse 6. He says, for to be carnally minded is what? Death. To be carnally minded what is death. Praise the name of the Lord. He says, but to be what spiritually minded is what? Life and peace. Life and peace. Carnally minded, you, you enter into diverse troubles. Praise the name of the Lord.
But if you are spiritually minded in your decision, in your decision making, in your making choices, he says you enter into life and what and peace. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. So when we are making choices, let's set our minds on God alone. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Then finally is that we would, we must be wise. Be wise in our, in, our, in our making of decision, in our making choices. Praise the name of the Lord. Be wise. And then we need to be mature in our thoughts. In our thoughts, in our in our decision making, in our uh, choice, in making choices, we need to be mature. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Verse, uh, that's, um, let's look at 1 Corinthians chapter 14 and verse 20. 1 Corinthians chapter 14 and verse 20. Hallelujah. Praise the name of the Lord. 1 Corinthians chapter 14 and verse 20 it says, Brethren, do not be children what in understanding. When it comes to making up, uh, uh, making up your mind on things, on decisions and choice making, he says, be not like children. He says, however, in malice, if they, but in understanding, be mature. Be mature. We need to be mature in our choice, in our making our choices. Praise the name of the Lord. We need wisdom in making our choices. And where does the Bible say we get wisdom from? He says, wisdom what belongs to God. Says, and the Bible says, if anyone lacks wisdom, he says, ask. And he says, the God that is in heaven will definitely bless you with wisdom. Praise the name of the Lord. Choices that require definite wisdom, you ask God for it. Praise the name of the Lord. Remember Solomon with those two ladies. It required the wisdom of God to be able to what, solve that issue. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. If he was to go with the choices of the, of, 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 I mean, of, uh, of his own choice, it would have been what, it, uh, it wouldn't have come out the way it came out. Praise the name of the Lord. But with the wisdom of God, we make what the right choices. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise the name of the Lord. And finally, I will round off with this is by, when it comes to what making choices, we have to check our motives. Our motives for making a choice. Because why I'm saying so is because the Bible says the Lord looks at our heart. He doesn't look at our outward. I might be smiling at you, but I may have a different motive in me. Praise the name of the Lord. I may be making a decision that would please you now, but I'm, I'm making it because I have a motive. A wrong motive in mind. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. So we must check our motives when it comes to what making what a decision, making a choice. We must check the motives because God will look at our hearts. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. If you are deciding, you are making a choice because it's like, let's say you are choosing a life partner and everything. You, it's good to choose that so, so because, uh, 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 because of beauty. But if it's beauty alone, there will be trouble. Because so, there will be days when maybe the person falls ill or something, or something happens and that beauty disappears. What do you do then after? Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. So we must check our motives. God looks at our hearts when it comes to uh, uh, making decisions. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise the name of the Lord. You're, you're welcome. God bless you. Hallelujah. So check our motives in making the, our choices. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Just round up this morning. Hallelujah. Praise the name of the Lord uh, by just praying. We're going to pray because when it comes to choices, we need God's guidance. Is there any way that, is there anything that you have to make a choice on today? You are going to ask the Lord to guide you, to guide you in that decision, in that choice that you want to make. We are going to ask for the guidance of the Lord. The Spirit is there to guide you. That is what the Spirit is there for. Praise the name of the Lord. We have in us the Spirit that shows us the right way, the right way. Hallelujah. And we are going to ask the Lord this morning. 
uh, we have asked the Lord uh, this afternoon to guide us in every decision that we want to make. Uh, let the Lord guide us. Praise the name of the Lord. Let the Lord guide us in the right path, in the right way, in the mighty name of Jesus. So I want you to talk to the Lord this morning. Just talk to the Lord this morning. Whatever it is, that decision that is before you, that choice that is before you, lay it before God this morning and ask, Lord, lead me in the right way. Lead me in the right way. He's the only one that can lead you in the right way. No other God, no, nothing else. No, 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 no man can lead you in the right way, but God's spirit is able to what lead you in the right way. Commit it to the Lord tonight. Tell me this, this afternoon. Whatever that decision is, whatever that choice you want to make, commit it into the hands of the Lord this morning. He's the one that is able to guide you aright. Lord, I just pray that Lord, each and every one that is here, Lord, you know their needs, you know whatever Lord choice they have to make, even at this hour. I pray, Lord, that you guide them. I pray, Lord, God Almighty, that your spirit, O oh Lord, Father, guide them, O oh Lord, in the way that you go, in the right way, in the name of Jesus. I pray that, Lord, God Almighty, with every choice that they have to make, they will not end up making the wrong choice, in the name of Jesus. I pray that, Lord, God Almighty, that each and everyone here, Lord, will be, Lord, be in that position to put away the flesh, in the name of Jesus. And Lord, walk in the Spirit. In the mighty name of Jesus. I pray for the guidance of the Holy Spirit. Upon each and every one here. In the name of Jesus. In everything that they do. In the mighty name of Jesus. I pray, Lord God Almighty. That your Spirit, O Lord, be their guide. Lead them, O Lord. In the name of Jesus. You say that all steps of the righteous are ordered by the Lord. I pray that you honor the steps of each and every one here. Lord, as well as they commit their ways into your hand. Lord, I pray that you honor their steps in the mighty name of Jesus. La produ se que vida la bachata curia. Le da gusto curia la bachata curia. Lord, we ask the Lord. Have your way in the life of the Lord. Direct their affairs, the Lord. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, Lord. In Jesus' name. Amen. We are just going to pray this prayer. You know, sometimes we, make, we, we, we do things wrong. We are going to ask the Lord for just forgiveness because we have made sometimes wrong decisions. Hallelujah. We have displeased God with our decision, with our choice making. We have what displeased God. Let's just ask for forgiveness. We plead the blood of Jesus upon every wrong choice that we have made. We say, Lord, forgive in the name of Jesus. Lord, we come to you to this point this afternoon. Lord, we present ourselves to you. We ask for Lord for forgiveness, Lord. We know that, Lord, we have made choices at times that God has displeased you. We plead the blood of Jesus. We say, Lord, cleanse us. Lord, wash us clean, Lord, in the name of Jesus. Look at the blood of the Lord. Let the blood, Lord, speak forgiveness for us today in the name of Jesus. We ask for forgiveness, Lord. Forgiveness, Lord. For Lord, every wrong choice that we have made, that our children have made, that our families have made. Lord, we ask for every God for forgiveness in the name of Jesus. Makila Bashanta Kuya. La Blatu Sokoya La Bashanta Kuya. Le Katu Zabrani Ekiteli Bashanta Kuya. La Blatu Sokoya La Bashanta Kuya. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, Father. In the name of Jesus. We are now going to just break every curse that may have come upon us. We are going to break every curse that might have come upon us. Because of any wrong decision that we have made, when it comes to choices, as we say, it affects others. The choice you make affects others. The choice your family makes can affect you. Praise the name of the Lord. We are going to break every cause, every cause, every cause that might have come upon us, upon our children, because of wrong decisions, wrong choices that have been made by everyone, by ourselves, or by our family. We come again to God in the name of Jesus. Father Lord, God Almighty. We come to you today. We break, O oh Lord, every curse that might, O oh Lord, have come upon us because of Lord wrong choices that we have made, that our family has made. We come against, O oh Lord, Father, every Lord, plan of the enemy. 
Lord, concerning us, as we make kind of wrong choices that have been made in the name of Jesus. We pray the custom of our children, we pray the custom of our town, of our families, of our ministry. We pray every cross in the name of Jesus. We thank you, Father, and we give you all the glory in Jesus' name. Amen. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah.